We had the fastest lava flow in the eruption that actually reached the vicinity of the Swartzengi power plant. The first eruption in this series in the uh, Fagodestral system started very humble, later developed big and impressive. Merodal a little the same way uh, that was in the next year. And uh, after that, we had the, uh, the one in the Little Quartor, which ended also very small, then spread and became a vent. When they have a big vent like that, they can last for a longer time. The first Sundunka eruption in, that, uh, uh, in the area of the uh, Swartzengi volcanic system was quite fast relative to them. The second one, the Grindavik Hagofel one, was also fast but relatively smaller uh, in the volume. And the current one was the fastest. These are all the views from the RUV, MBL and the Icelandic Coast Guard uh, cameras. And this latest one from MBL, you can see that this is the February 2024 eruption. And uh, uh, as the second Sundunka, we can call it. It has spread very quick. It died very quick, even less than a day, less than 24 hours. It was over. But the extent that it reached was surprising. Uh, the flow rate of the lava also was fast in a short period of time. Less than half an hour from the, actually from the swarm of the earthquakes to the eruption was the time that we had as a, you know, as a warning, early warning. Then it spread through the three kilometer long fissure and the lava from that point spread. It was very hot, runny, and it could travel fast, although thin, not as thick as the other one. But the flow was huge. And I have a feeling that this was because, uh, it erupted on the older, and yet not yet completely solidified lava flow of the early first Sundunka. You can see the Sundunka of the 24 was 400 to 600 uh, cubic uh, meters per second. Sundunka first one was around 100 to 300. Galinga Dalar, which was the Fagodestro as we call it, had only humble uh, around uh, 13 uh, meter, uh, 10 to 13 meter cubic meter, little quarter 20 to 30, and uh, Merodeli was only 30 cubic meter per second. So we had a quite fast rate. This Hagofel one, which was in the Grindavik one, we call it, 100 to 200 uh, cubic meters per second. Or, yeah, and uh, so the latest one was actually the fastest in the beginning. It erupted everything all over the place. In just less than a day, it was finished. But it did it all in that sh short period of time. You could have the best views actually from the space, seeing the extent of this uh, spread. And you can see that it was on the top of the first Sundunka uh, of the 2023 in December. And that was because the lava probably was hot, yet uh, easy to break through and easy to flow out of it. Probably that's one, one theory that uh, comes to mind. It was the easiest pathway and it relieved the pressure very fast in a large volume of lava.